All right, guys, I just got my hands on some Adidas Sambas, more specifically, the Human Race collab, review to come out next year. Although it's winter and naturally, I gravitate towards boots for my everyday fits or even my Boston clogs for my everyday grocery getter shoes. Very rarely, I find a sneaker I don't want to swap out ever. But lately, that's changed. I've been wanting to wear these Sambas more often. So after several fits, I came to find out these shoes are pretty damn versatile and thought I'd probably put you guys on. So here are seven ways to style probably one of the most versatile shoes of the year. The fit, you have a Zara collared puffer, common Sweden zip up polo, cold buxton sweats, and my Ebbets flannel hat. Although the tongue of the shoe is heavily noticeable, tucking it under the sweats is an easy solution. As you can see, the cold buxton sweats sits perfectly on top and doesn't really crowd the shoe. It's the perfect minimalistic shoe. For the coffee run fit, I decided to wear my Porsche Logos pullover hoodie and my thrifted Carhartt Carpenter pant with my Ebbets Field hat. This fit actually heavily inspired me to make this video because for such a narrow looking shoe, I can actually wear baggy pants and it doesn't make me look as short and with the nature of how fashion is gravitating towards baggy fits, it looks like I get to join the ride. Now for the grocery getter fit, it consists of the Dickies Eisenhower jacket, Uniqlo oversized white shirt, olive green slim carpenter pants by Uniqlo, matte black tote bag, and again the Ebbets Field hat. Similar to the last fit, but the pants don't really have stacks and it sits perfectly on the shoe. Now here is a simple date outfit if you were going to maybe like a brunch or lunch date. It consists of my thrifted Bugle Boys long sleeve polo, corduroy Uniqlo pant, Ebbets field hat, and the Adidas Sambas. This style is more preppy slash menswear-esque inspired and I really wanted to show how these Sambas can be incorporated into any look. Now I wanted to show y'all a more wider fit pant. And the fit consists of the Zara puffer again, unique low white shirt, and my orange tabbed Levi's 505 jeans. The jeans does have a very minimal break, but again, the Sambas with the baggy fit doesn't even take away from the overall outfit and blends in perfectly. The flared fit consists of a thrifted quarter zip jacket from J.Crew, a thrifted striped dress shirt, and my Wrangler Ranchers. Flared fits are going to be big next year and I think it'll be challenging to find a sneaker to match the aesthetic. The Sambas again doesn't take away from the outfit giving the overall outfit a more contemporary menswear look. Last but not least is my business casual fit. This consists of a thrifted Calvin Klein dress shirt that I ended up propping, white unique low shirt, my olive green triple pleated pant that I ended up thrifting. Look is very classic and is work friendly and that's all thanks to the Sambas. Here are the fits and the last video of 2022. And with that, are the Sambas a trend or an essential? maybe even shoe of the year? Let me know in the comments below. Two videos every month, every other Friday, starting next week for 2023. See y'all next year.